All right, boys and girls, I am out here on the Rappahannock, just getting out here. Uh, today is an exciting day because for a short period of time, the shad run through Fredericksburg, my hometown, and come right up the Rappahannock. Stripers are actually following them too, so you never know, you might get a chance. A couple people have been posting some gigantic stripers here lately. The goal is definitely shad first, and then I might, if I can catch some bait, maybe drag something along the bottom, who knows. Uh, big catfish are also in here, so we'll just see. It's pretty exciting though because uh, I, I about it's pretty exciting because once a year I come out here and catch shad while they're running, and then I devote the rest of my time to other things. But um, it's definitely they're just a fun fight. They're like a baby tarpon. It's hard to beat. So let's see if I can get into them. Very, very first cast, guys. I'm on this ultralight. I got six pound test, so I'm gonna keep it pretty, uh, pretty late and fun today. How exciting is this? Very first cast. I saw some on the Garmin, which I don't know. You know, we've talked about that before. God, aren't they just such great fighters, though? Let's see. Yeah, there it is. I'll show you my setup here once I get this fish in. Okay, all right, calm down. That is the American Shad. Actually, this is a hickory shad, I believe. I don't know. There's two different kinds. One's off limits to keep. One is not, um, but uh, one is off limits to keep, one is not, and uh, we'll see, I'll look them up here shortly, because I'd like to use one for bait, but uh, you know, it's a migratory fish, so I don't want to do anything that's going to get me in trouble. Let me show you my gear real quick. Very simple, there's these things called shad darts, which are these are these right here and then I just run a trailer a little spoon on the back and that's all I'm running and a uh, oh, turkey just gobbled uh, and that's all I'm running so let's see see some more fish out there let's go after them Step again, there we go. Pull some drag. Oh, we hit on hit on the dart. Man, that turkey is just hammering away over there. Just because I'm running six pound. Six pound leader. I think I will. Net some of these. There he is. Tell you what, we hit this thing right. It's non-stop action. The fish are full in here. This one hit the spoon. We got one dart, one spoon. He's really picking up some steam. He realized what's going on. He doesn't like the Really 
wanted it to. on this one. Nope, it's a good fighting one. guys just got to spot two see Fredericksburg Country Club in the background I've played that course many times and I always look at these rocks and I just think they're super cool so I'm gonna flip this around. I have like these rock formations I just think they're super cool it's like it's 20 feet deep of water so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come up here and let the wind and the current just drift me back and uh, I'm gonna drag some bait along the bottom and hopefully catch some more shad for you guys and uh i don't know maybe catch a, a big catfish or who knows potentially even a striper sorry that is going to be my bait rod it's an ugly stick a little bit weight on it put it maybe a foot off the ground and uh see what happens That shit. It's <laughs> 300 miles of river. Pull that right here. That's good. Fun stuff. It looks a little more dedicated than me, so. <laughs> uh, nice wake. See the boat, and then they go. Yeah. All right. I got that six-pound leader. I want to make sure not to screw up too bad here. fish. I swear. Cool little interesting fact. George Washington fed his troops on shad and heron right here. Which is pretty neat. If you're a nerd. Alright, that might be a little bit too much. 
good one. Oh, he just got off. All right. Well, look at this guy, though. That's the one that went full out of the water. I had another one on, but he did not make it. He made it almost back to the boat, but not so much. There was a big fish on Garmin that was sniffing my bait. I mean, it had to be sniffing. I don't know what kind of fish it was, but uh, it was a heck of a fish. And then I got hung up on bottom and I thought, that's it. This is it. This is the big one. But no, nope. ended up being snagged on the bottom. And, uh,. Not the fish of my dreams. It's all good. Right here at the boat. <laughs> they really just fight hard, guys. I don't know how to explain it. They're the closest thing to a miniature tarpon out there. After the other guys, it's almost every cast. I know uh, the James has a run too. Oh, that one got off. Uh, my dad talked about it. You know, he grew up here in the 50s and 60s and 70s. He's lived here his whole life, but. He talks about when he was a kid coming here, the fish being so thick, you could walk across water. So it's definitely not that bad, or it's definitely not that much, but it's almost every cast. And I tell you what, it is a pile of fun. Man. 
Conrad, when he gets a little bit bigger, this is going to be some fun for him. Right here, I tell you what. Uh, almost every cast. That's a big one. Too. Oh, got off the boat. That's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. Let me catch another one before I press the button. Just let it fall a little bit. It seems like these fish are a little bit deeper. Um, I will say live scope is making it easier. But that being said, they're so thick right now. I mean, legit. It's like every, legitimately. It's like every cat. My dad used to talk about every cast you hook up with doubles and triples and all sorts of crazy stuff uh, I've only caught a few doubles in my life I've definitely had them come after it you know but oh, oh. my bait is wiggling on the bait rod how cool would that be to catch a big one? The bait rod. Can't tell if it's a dragon bottom or what. I know you guys can't really see this rod, but I have a rod holder right behind me, right to the left. And that one has a rod that's just dragon bottom. Put a fish head on it. But I mean, look at the graft. Look at the graft. Watch this. See if we can do this. Oh, well, it's. Hope if I was better, but you'll watch them come up and grab it. They're following it all the way back. Whoa! I hope you guys got to see that one. Holy smokes. And you can use bass rods, you can use everything, but I will say, like, I got a good buddy of mine that I usually do this at least once a year with or whatever, and he uses like straight ultralight. The rod I'm using today is Panfish Elite from Bass Pro. It's a light, serious rod, but it, uh, I think it's perfect. I also have a medium light that I used last year, and that worked really well too. Because you're throwing light stuff. Like, this is just a massive shad. Um, oh, I'm hooked. I hooked myself. There we go. But yeah, I'm throwing, you know pretty light stuff and then a dart which has a little weight to it but not much now you can get heavier darts and other things too but this throws you know 60 70 80 feet no problem and uh don't have to chunk all that lead and it's just a fun fight there we go <laughs> watch that one garment <laughs> I watched that one on Gorman. I know there's a whole school of them. I'm trying to see what this guy's got. But yeah, darts have always. Oh, there we go. The whole school's up with him. Darts have always been good, but man, I've always had really good luck on spoons. Losing his edge there.
Oh, we got a double. We got a double. Last time I had a double, this didn't work very well at all. And it still didn't work. Note to self, whenever you're doing the trailer, don't do it too, too long away from the first bait. We went shad fishing. I don't know what other fish you'd do this with. You'd be catching doubles. You know, plenty of other fish, but catching doubles, not so much. What? That fish came up. <sighs> that fish came up, made a run right underneath the boat, and then jumped in and smacked me. I swear, smacked me <laughs> right here on my leg. Oh, man. I've never seen that. That's a good one. You guys, get, you guys get tired of me saying that? All right. Jeez Louise. Man, that turkey that I left two hours ago is still hammering away. few weeks I'll be on the hunt for one of those missed it nope oh, got him that time I'll actually miss it the first time uh, another one probably not him he missed it so quick we got it All right, guys, I'm all back to the truck. I'm running to go grab some lunch and head back to the office to get a few more hours worth of work done. I was only out there, it looks like two hours and 10 minutes, something like that, and it had an absolute stellar day. It was almost every other cast, and um, just, just a cool thing to experience, even though they're short-lived and we'll be back out of our river system soon. Anyway, hopefully, later this week, I'm gonna try to go maybe down to the Potomac. I have two appointments down there that I might run out to um put some signs out and then potentially try to get line wet but if not uh hopefully the following week we'll be out there so all right guys see you on the next one